questions you might have about our countercloth set. So the countercloths are meant to replace your paper towels. And many people wonder, is that really worth it? Would I use them? I'm not sure. So I just wanna show you what they can do and why I have replaced my paper towels and our family does not use paper towels anymore. We used to be people who would go to Costco, buy the big set of paper towels every month, and now we do not. Now we don't use paper towels except for demonstrations like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take different things. I've got some ketchup here. I'm gonna get some ketchup on the counter. Oh, oh. I make my, oh, size is about the same. Got some honey. So we're gonna be wiping up these different substances. And I wanted to be sure to pick things that were sticky, uh, liquid, different textures. So you could see how the counter claws do on these different things. Yogurt, right? Because if a kid eats yogurt at your counter, they're bound to leave some clumps behind. Butter, because it's greasy. So it's kind of a different type of substance than um, just being a liquid. It's the more sticky and greasy and different even than honey. And then of course we've got a little bit of body armor here. Just a liquid to spill. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with our paper towels. Now let me show you, the counter claws are created to be the exact same size as the paper towel. So in my house, when I was retraining my family to not need paper towels, I would say, grab the paper towels. I wouldn't call them counter claws while I was training my family. The paper towel, grab the paper towel, and then they figure it out real quick. So let's go ahead and start with our paper towel. We're gonna go ahead and wipe up our ketchup here. Okay, was able to wipe that up. Honey, oh, not, oh, there goes the ketchup out the paper towel because it might have got a hole. I would say, ugh, that's pretty dunsy. Let's do paper towel number two. Finish up the ketchup that burst out and the honey. Oh, okay, it's not really, you guys, it's sticking, so it's not really doing great. I'll come back and get a paper towel wet though. I wanna be fair to the paper towel. Let's do our yogurt. Oh my. Okay, let's get another paper towel. It's so funny, I'm always amazed at how much I loved my paper towels before switching to counter claws. And now I'm just like, oh man. Okay, so now we've got our butter, right? Okay, our butter uh, simply just is smearing. If you can see that, it is smearing it on the counter. It is picking up some, oh, but it is smearing, okay? So that's three, I'm gonna go ahead and get number four. Get that. Butter as best as I can. And then our body armor here. The thing about liquid, soaking up liquid paper towels, is one, it, that's not done. It's still on the counter. But then usually, right, it starts to drip and you're like running to the garbage like this. So let me get that. All right, so I would say, let's just go four and a half. I just needed that for a little bit. So that took about four and a half. Now let's go to our counter claws, which will replace your paper towels. Let's start here with my ketchup. Okay, got that. Moving on to the honey. Ugh, look at that, you guys. It literally just picked up that whole glob of honey. Boom, sticky, sticky honey in the cloth, right? I still have some more surface here. Let's try the yogurt. Now, here's what's great about this counter cloth. You might be thinking, okay, me number two. And yeah, I would need number two, but I don't because I'm literally just gonna walk over here, go rinse it out, and notice how it didn't like drip out because it's so absorbent. It's not going to start dripping all over and you have to be really careful. So this is how you clean your countertops, cloths. You just come over, rinse them out, wring them out. And then this is what's great. That just had ketchup, um, yogurt, and honey, and it's perfectly clean. Come back over, go to my butter, there you go, butter's cleaned up. And then my power, or body armor. Boom, one counter cloth. So that is so awesome. We use, what, four and a half or four and a fourth if you wanna be really generous of uh, paper towels. And you guys, uh, one of the first Norwex consultants that introduced me to Norwex said, yeah, but you're just buying cloths to throw them away. And I never thought about that. I was spending so much money I mean, maybe not so much money, but it adds up in a year, right? On paper towels that I'm throwing away. I'm buying a cloth that I know I'm gonna throw away. 
where your counterclaws, you use them, you rinse them out, and then you can, what is so great is that you can just hang them over your house like this and they dry. Norwex thought that through. The counterclaws have backlock in them. So anything with Norwex, if it has backlock on the tag, that means it has uh, silver embedded into the fibers that doesn't allow mold, bacteria, mildew, all that icky stuff to grow. So once you rinse these out and you hang them to dry, this is good to go for the next day. So what my family does is we just use these, we hang them, and then the next day we use them again. And we also have this little guy over here that I like to keep one at in order to just wipe around my counters. This is a Norwex um, item as well. And then you can just hang it to dry because I like to use my counterclaws just to do a quick wipe up around the sink. You know how it always gets dirty around the sink. Um, but yeah, so these are uh, awesome for replacing your paper towels. I, in the beginning I was thinking, man, I don't want this sitting on my counter. I hate things on my counter. But honestly, you guys, this is much prettier. You can get to pick your colors. They come in a pack of three. You can get different colors. I'm not super picky about the colors because we use, pick, we use them a lot. And then you replace the paper towel roll that's sitting on your counter. Now that's not pretty. Um, so some of the other ways we use them, these are like your paper towel or your napkin at dinner, right? If we're eating something greasy or dirty, we just grab a couple of them, put them on the counter. We can wipe our fingers when we're done, rinse them out, we're good to go. So guys, this is, hopefully this answers some questions about the counter claws and why a lot of people have fallen in love with them, especially after they bite the bullet and try it. So just wanted to share that with you. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration today and hope, I hope it answers some of your questions. If you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks guys.